Now, there are new details out tonight in a Greene County murder case. This after authorities found Ruby Moon Holson dead in her home. Court documents out today show how she died. And now police say they're looking for a man considered armed and dangerous. News 10's Eric Stidman explains. When Greene County deputies found Ruby Moon Holtzen dead in her home, they knew they had a homicide on their hands. For officers, the case turned to a matter of figuring out who did it, and police say all signs are leading to her son. We, we feel that we've clearly identified who killed Ruby Holtzen, and now we are asking for the public's assistance to locate Joral Holtzen. Greene County Detective George Dallaire says Ruby rented a home just outside of Linton. That's where police found her in October, stabbed several times. Police say the well-known author and Lincoln Trail College professor didn't have enemies. The investigation instead showed money as a possible factor. We feel that it's related to money, yes. Uh, we, we haven't been able to establish any other motive at this point. Police questioned Jarrell Holson, but say they didn't have the evidence to keep him. And now forensic evidence shows he's a suspect. Police say he's nowhere to be found. We're kind of going back to the good old fashioned manhunt, so to speak, because uh, we're not able to tra track this particular individual through credit cards or cell phone or anything of that nature. Deputies are on the lookout for Jarrell Holson and say people in and around Greene County should be too. He is considered armed and dangerous and wanted for Ruby Holson's death. In Greene County, I'm Eric Stidman, News 10. If you have any information on Jarrell Holson's whereabouts, please contact the Greene County Sheriff's Department. We'll have that information available on our website, WTHITV.com.